Acceleration is any change in velocity. Velocity is speed and direction. So an acceleration can occur when a stationary object, or stopped object, speeds up or speeds up and changes direction. An acceleration can also be when a moving object slows down or slows down to a complete stop. It can also be when a moving object turns, even though it continues at the same speed. The formula for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. The final velocity is the ending velocity. The initial velocity is the starting velocity. We can abbreviate this as A equals VF minus VI divided by T. The unit for acceleration is meters per second per second because velocity is meters per second and time is in seconds. You can also write it as meters per second squared. Here are three other formulas that we'll be using to find distance, time, and final velocity. Let's try a sample problem. A car accelerates from rest to a final speed of 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. What is the acceleration of the car? The first thing we do is look to see what we're looking for. In this case, what's the acceleration? Then we look to see what we're given. We see that the car starts at rest. That means it's not moving. We know the final speed of the car is 10 meters per second. And we see that the time to do that is 5 seconds. The formula that we're going to use is for acceleration. We can abbreviate this whole thing, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Now we just plug our numbers in. Final velocity is 10 meters per second. Initial velocity is 0. And the time is 5 seconds. 10 minus 0 is 0. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. Our unit is meters per second per second. Or we can call that meters per second squared. Here's a second problem. A car speeds up from 10 meters per second to 20 meters per second in 4 seconds. What's the acceleration? So again, we're looking for an acceleration. We know that the car starts at 10 meters per second and it ends up traveling at 20 meters per second. That acceleration takes 4 seconds. So we have our formula. We plug in our numbers. 20 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by 4 seconds. 20 minus 10 is 10. And 10 over 4 is 2.5 meters per second per second, or we can write meters per second squared. Here's a third problem. So far we've seen cars that are speeding up. Now we'll look at an example of a car that's slowing down. Slowing down from a speed of 25 meters per second to 10 meters per second in 3 seconds. What is the acceleration? So again, what are we looking for? Acceleration. What are we given? We're given an initial speed of 25 meters per second, a final speed of 10 meters per second, and the time it takes to do that, 3 seconds. We plug these numbers into our formula. Final velocity, 10 meters per second, minus initial velocity, 25 meters per second, divided by the time, 3 seconds. Now 10 minus 25 is negative 15 meters per second, 
divided by three seconds. So we have a negative acceleration, negative five meters per second per second. A negative acceleration means a deceleration or slowing down. Here's a fourth sample. A car that starts at rest begins to accelerate at four meters per second squared. After five seconds, how far has the car traveled? In this case, we're looking for how far the car has traveled. That's a distance. We are given it starts at rest. It accelerates at four meters per second squared. And it will accelerate for five seconds. With this information, we can figure out where the object will be. We use the formula distance equals initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. So we plug our numbers in. The initial velocity is zero. Zero times five seconds plus one half the acceleration, four meters per second times the time squared. Zero times five is zero. Half of four is two, and five squared is 25. So zero plus two times 25 is 50 meters. Here's sample problem five. A car that is traveling at 10 meters per second begins to accelerate at four meters per second squared. After five seconds, how far has the car traveled? So again, we're looking for how far, that's distance. This time, the car is already moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. It's going to accelerate at four meters per second squared for five seconds. How much distance will it travel? We use the formula d equals initial velocity times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. So we plug in our initial velocity, 10 meters per second times five seconds plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. 10 times five is 50 plus half of four is two and five squared is 25. So 50 plus 50 is 100 meters. Here's another example. A car is traveling 10 meters per second. How much time will it take to accelerate to a final speed of 30 meters per second if it can accelerate at four meters per second squared? So we're looking for how much time. We are given it's traveling an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Its final velocity is 30 meters per second. And it can accelerate at 4 meters per second squared. So use the formula time equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by acceleration. Plug our numbers in, final velocity is 30 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by the acceleration, 30 minus 10 is 20 divided by 4 is 5. The unit for time is seconds. Here's another problem. A car that is at rest begins to accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. What is the car's speed after 6 seconds? So, we are looking for a final speed. We know that the car is at rest. Initial velocity is 0 meters per second. We know it can accelerate at 5 meters per second.
we know it can accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. The time is 6 seconds. The formula we're using is final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Initial velocity is 0 meters per second plus the acceleration, 5 meters per second squared, times the time, 6 seconds. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 0 is still 30. So our answer is 30, and velocity is meters per second. If we have that same car, but this time it starts out not traveling at rest, but at 10 meters per second, begins to accelerate at 5 meters per second squared, what will the car's speed be after 6 seconds? Well, we're looking for the same thing, final velocity. This time, our initial velocity is not 0. It's 10 meters per second. The acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. And the time is 6 seconds. We use the same formula. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. The, final, the initial velocity is 10 meters per second. The acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. And the time is 6 seconds. 10 plus 30 is a final speed of 40 meters per second.